But joining me in the studio, direct from New York, Katie and Christy Barry. Good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon to you. And G'day. David, and direct from Newcastle, uh, David and Phil, hello to you. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. Um, twins, fest, twin festival, my twins, um, they're my stepdaughters, but I've had them since they were two. They were most alike twins at the last festival. Oh, wow. That's pretty incredible. It is incredible. Tell us about uh, your, you two are so alike. <laughs> in fact, both, both we might sets. give them a run for the money. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you do in your, in your normal life when you're not traveling around the world to things like the twin festival? In our normal lives, if you want to call it that, uh, we are both videographers for uh, New York One. It's like a local, hyper-local news channel uh, based in New York City. So we both work alongside each other. We do the same thing. Um, we play together, work together. We, we pretty much are always So together. could you fill in for, for each other if you happen to be unwell? We one can. Day? We actually have. <laughs> there we are. And the thing I noticed, David and Phil, about twins is that one will start a sentence and the other one will finish it. Yeah, that's right. One's always got something better to say than the other one. <laughs> Especially the second one that says the first thing. Like I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, have you ever done the You Are Incredibly Alike? Have you done the thing of um, swapping, not swapping partners, but you know what I mean? That's also true. Oh, is, it, is, it, I don't, is this what kind of show this is? Is this a road show or is this after hours? We could talk to about that later. What about you guys? Have you done it? Uh, passports, um, school Driver's license. Driver's license. Yeah, the whole lot. You, do all, you always do that. You've got to test the... Test the scenario at the time. Uh, Mark, my uh, panel operator, who's uh, usually here, but he's on holidays at the moment. He's a twin. He's six foot six. His twin is about Ooh. five foot ten. They're oh. completely. Is he single? Not. All... Mm-hmm. Well, he is, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something happened there. There you are. Yes, it's, it's incredible. But uh, tell us about the experience for all of you. The the good things about being an identical twin. It is great. I mean, obviously, you know, you, you can walk outside of the house. You can forget your driver's license. You forget your passport. Like, I remember I, I lost my passport one year, and then, like, a couple weeks later, I was going to the Dominican Republic, and I was kind of panicking, like, oh, no, what am I going to do? And then I realized I could just take Katie's. So I'm like her, like, backup generator, her backup supply for documents. and So it's like little things like that. And I, I also remember being in, in high so school. So basically, you're just lawbreakers. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I actually used her, her driver's license for seven years until I got a job that required me to have a driver's license. And so then I had to actually go and get my own. But yeah. until then, I'd spent seven years using her driver's what license. What happens with fingerprints with twins? How close are they? But you don't often have to give your fingerprints, so I, I'm not really sure. It's mainly just like social You will have to after you've, what you've just security. admitted. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Swapping passports. What have you got to listen to? Uh, look, what, what, look, yeah. for, look for twins. They get to uh, live, and um, since birth, they get to share the same space, same time, same sun. They get to look alike and share a lot of the ins and outs, the highs and lows of each other's life, and it's really having your best friend there to witness your life and... In, in a way, it's different than, if you like, a marriage. It's, it's never-ending, and there's never getting away from it. So it's lots of fun. This is is, cool is the worst thing about being a twin, and I've known this, I've seen this happen so many times with, uh, with my daughters, but when people think that you, they come up to you like they know you, but it's, it's actually... Oh, it's the best time. It's actually, <laughs> actually, David and I live apart. Uh, David's in Foster. I'm in Newcastle. And I'll often walk into Foster and get about four hugs before I tell them who I am. And usually you get someone jumping back about oh, so three there is... foot. <laughs> right. And, and don't worry, he's chalked up uh, many, uh, many of my sort of racked up some bills for me because real... he goes into my local shops and puts it on the <laughs> bottle, bottle shop account. Oh, David, would you like some chips with that Bacardi? Uh, yeah, fine, Philip says. And so <laughs> Monday morning there's a huge argument on... Uh, who's got to pay? Who's got to pay and, and uh, not guilty. It wasn't me. John's online. Hi, John. Hi, I'm John. curious, when you look at one another, do you see a mirror image of yourself or do you spot differences which nobody else detects? John, uh, sorry, John, the first thing is you can check out what your, the clothes you want to buy. You put them on your, your opposite and you can see how they look on yourself. So that's a good fun thing. But um, a lot of the times you'll check little pieces of information that are coming back from, well, my brother in this case. But if he's doing something, I'll say, wow, do I do that? And then I'll look into his way of doing things and maybe cross-check things. So, yeah, it is a great reflection. Girls, what about you? Yeah, they're, they're, I think what, when I look at her, I think, wow, I look so completely different than her. And then someone will take a picture and then they'll show us and then I, sometimes it'll take me two seconds to find which one is me. Right. So it's, it's got kind of this like eerie feeling or sometimes I'm walking through a store and they have random mirrors along the wall for people to, you know, see how great they look and I'll pass by and 
kind of catch my head jerking over a little thinking like she's on the other wall walking across and it's always yeah. a really weird feeling like i should know what how my arms are swinging and that it's a wall it's a mirror but the the uh, brain can do funny things to and i think actually our voices are the most similar thing about us so that like i think the, the times that i've been duped the most is times that i thought i'm like wow that's weird katie left a voicemail and she said the exact same thing i said and that that i can't really tell the difference